Jeff, now this was the video that shocked an awful lot of people just yesterday. A police body camera view of state Supreme Court Judge Mark Rusanti during an ugly dispute with neighbors that led to him shoving that officer there. But neither he nor his wife, who you also saw there in the video, were charged. Now you have had a lot of questions about that, and so have we. So two on your side's Kelly Dudzik looked into what could happen next for the judge, and she also got some legal analysis. This is the most popular story on our website right now, and it involves video of a judge shoving a police officer who was trying to detain his wife. I asked Rochester-based criminal defense attorney Don Thompson, who does not know Judge Mark Grisanti, to share his thoughts with me about Grisanti not being charged. He first saw the video when I sent him our story from Tuesday. My thoughts were, uh, you know, thank God this fellow is not black and that he's a judge or he might be dead. Thompson is also the attorney representing Daniel Prude. Prude is the black man who died in March after being taken off life support a few days after Rochester police officers held him down until he stopped breathing. Obviously disparity in treatment here based upon color and, and privileged position. So you know, what, what happens with it now? Well, you know, nobody's charged with anything. So potentially it does go away. I mean, there could be a complaint, I suppose, to the Judicial Conduct Commission uh, about you know, conduct not becoming a judge. He's talking about New York State's Commission on Judicial Conduct. I was hoping to interview someone from the commission to give us some insight as to how something like this might be handled. But the public records officer told me the commission can't be of much help because there's a confidentiality statute that governs their work and it doesn't allow them to confirm or deny that they have any matter pending against any judge unless and until one of two things happens. The judge waives confidentiality or the commission issues a public discipline. Buffalo police told us Tuesday not pressing charges is a discretionary call made by the officer. My colleague Claudine Ewing spoke with Grisanti's attorney yesterday. He told her Grisanti, quote, wished it wouldn't have happened. Again, Grisanti was not arrested and he was not charged in Buffalo. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.